no, too often. And, and, and I mean, it would have been on the receiving end of that to pass on some messages to his troops, the skipper of the Lions, but. Um, no surprise that he's been well utilised in the development role and he'd be a fantastic asset for Justin Leppich and congratulations on an outstanding career to Jonathan Brown. Yeah, life after footy for Jonathan Brown. 256 magnificent games and universally loved. We move on to today's footy and Jackson back in this team sends it long. Patful did well. He came across, he fisted hard. Clark Close to the line, Arnott. He turned into trouble, then out of trouble and over the line. So what are we looking for this afternoon, boys? Two teams reasonably evenly matched. What are you looking for, Hodgie? Well, I think it's going to be a battle of the midfields here. You can see uh, Jackson uh, looks like he's gone to uh, Rockcliffe, it looks like, in there. So it's going to be a good battle in there for, between those two. Rockcliffe has obviously been about the place of late, that's for sure. Particularly after the siren last week. This would be a nice start. Cochin. He thought about laying it off and he did very cleverly. Vickery, your man from the start of the game, Hodgie. Exactly right. He needs to uh, back himself, go back. Uh, he's a vocal point with Rewild. Go back, a bit of confidence, put this one through. Well, this really will give him some confidence. Playing his 10th game for the year. He's been in and out, 15 goals eight. A haul of four, not too many others of note for this year. But just outside the opening minute of the game. It'll be a perfect start for the Tigers. Taking plenty of time. I reckon this is more than 30 seconds, but it doesn't matter. He approaches the man on the mark now, and he does what he should do. The Tigers have got there first. Sundrenched MCG, it must be said also, Baz, but a really positive start for... A player who appears to be a confidence player, Trent Cotchin was involved there. He kicked five goals last week. He's had a really consistent year again. So a good start from the skipper, a good start from the key forward, and a good finish from Vickery also. So important out that the Tigers put the foot down. Probably wondering what I was doing. They had the iPhone got 40 seconds I made it, Tom. 40 seconds from Mark to kick. It's certainly more than 30 then, Baz, isn't it? <laughs> and that's... That's the, that's the two dangerous people there. Uh, the captain there, sending the ball up to Vickery, who we spoke about before the game. If he can help Rewild out, be a target up forward, kick a few crucial goals, it's going to be good for the Tigers. So Cochin, so good last week across town at Etihad against the Saints in the 44-point win. And Miles helping him out in the middle. Jackson returns. Miles has been phenomenal so far in his month as a Tiger. Vickery, another chance. Rebold out the back. They'll be able to raffle it off. Vickery, <laughs> surely not to try. Oh, wow, just a couple to the big man. I missed that. He must have obviously got his boots were just, just on the line there. I'm with you, Tom. I thought he, he didn't get his boot clear. And you think, Jack, get out of the way. They've got their hands full, the two Brisbane key defenders, Justin Clark and Matt McGuire at the moment. Clark actually started on revolt, but they've swapped opponents and uh, both boys up and about at the minute. Tell you what, Hodgie picked one man. He said, just look at Ty Vickery to get him off to a fast start. Don't do much wrong. Hodgie, Every Saturday, he? Hodgie, just welcome a book. <laughs> but what you, got, what you got to realise there is you don't get in the road of your main full forward. Jack Rewalt wants a goal. You give Jack Rewalt the goal. He has got just got his foot to it there, Tyrone. Great start from the big fella. And your man is pre-game, Hodgie. Well done. Can you pick me as the commentator to watch, please? Ball towards half forward it in there fighting hard for it so they need a response here the Lions early as it may be they've been completely outpointed conquer great tackle from behind that was well done Gardner got him pinned the arm perfectly good young player Darcy Gardner is settling in well to the Brisbane lineup another one of the Geelong Falcons Tommy and uh, the Mickey Turner football factory uh, Hodgie you're one of those yes a lot of uh, good country football John O'Brien's another one it's so a handball with Adcock inside the circle. Pushing it back. You heard it from Got the ump. Back here. It was as he kicked it. And it's coming back. One thing our uh, Tigers got to be, uh, the Tigers have started really well. They've had three centre clearances. Dan Jackson's had two. Codsett's had the other one. Brisbane have to pick up on that. Umpires today, Fleer, Fisher and Finlay, the three Fs. A few F-bombs last Saturday <laughs> afternoon, Hodgie. <laughs> Long ball inside, 50. Fist from Grimes will do okay. Vickery at both ends of the ground. First two goals through his boot. Cotchin set the first up. Combined with Edwards. Delidio looks downtown. There's nothing on. 
composed, brings it back to Ellis. He's seen a lot of the football in recent times. Hooley, a couple of lines. Gardner, who we spoke about, will go back to the flight. Patful. Well, Gardner just a fumble, but has time to go and get it again. And Patful, who's been so consistent, so reliable, and so resilient in recent times, has hardly missed a game at Hanley. Well, surely that was out. Paparone tried to convince himself and then the umpire. Good call before home. It's got to be said, McStay, Gardner, Clark. All pretty similar looking players for the Brisbane Lions. A lot of new faces too. I mean, as you said pre-game, six teenagers in this lineup, five who have debuted this year. And that's the 13th time they've played five or more teenagers this year. Seven teenagers. They played five weeks in a row at one stage, Hodge. It's hard to think of a side with such youngsters running around being competitive. Yeah, I think that's where the consistency comes into it. The older you get, the more consistent they're going to be. It is a good sign for their future, isn't it? Eight debutants this season, as Hay mentioned. Five of them today. Aish, Close, Taylor, Gardner and Daniel McStay, who made his AFL debut last week and got particularly close to the goal line, kicking in right at the death. Happy to see the clock run down on what was a famous Brisbane victory in the end for Jonathan Brown in the stands. It was a great moment in the club's history. Another one of the key matchups. Hodgie spoke about the midfielders. Also, Stefan Martin and Ivan Marich will play a really pivotal role. Stefan Martin's been a surprise pack, particularly the last month or so. Been more than serviceable in the ruck for, uh, for Brisbane. He's been great, hasn't he? Had Minson, then Mumford, then Sandlins, and then Goldstein and Marich today. And just going back to McStay, mm. Baz, I mean, Dream to debut would have been an absolute nightmare in the last seven seconds when he stepped on the goal line to have somehow the Kangaroos get home. But he would have been the most unpopular man in Queensland if John O'Brien's farewell game had gone the wrong way. Yeah, they showed some composure in the end. And it was unusual, it's got to be said, Hodgie, to see a first gamer kicking in so late in the game. It was great that he had the confidence to do that, though. It's, uh, well, you've got to back yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. Probably won't do it again next time, though. <laughs> and that's for sure. Ellis got it from Grimes and out now to Chaplin. So they've been better in the last couple of minutes without getting any scoreboard pressure, the Brisbane Lions. Cochin, who started the game really well in the midfield with the three touches, has pushed forward. So he's deep one-on-one -on -one with Manny Baguai. You'd have to back him for the leg speed down there. Ellis to Chaplin and then fisted forward. That was pretty well done. Now they run it out again. And on the end of it... Well, man, Hodgie, Vickery's been in everything. It was McStay with a punch and Ranson Chaplin to Bachelor combining, and now they move it forward again. Richmond have to be smart here. Uh, Brisbane have dropped the person behind the ball, so they have to just, uh, oh, there's a brisky kick there. They've got to be smart, use a bit of width, uh, maybe come into the corridor because they've got a, number, a couple of numbers coming back. So Delidio wants to go along. Revolt lurking at the back. The skipper, Cochin, just couldn't get his hands to it. And they've mopped up nicely. That was well done by Aish. The crumbing ball. He got a handball off to Mays. Still a football to be won here. Here's Vickery again. Short ball. Well, that's not 15. Folly. Over the top he goes. Misses Miles. Miles now takes on Taylor. Back it goes to D. Who want the left boot. Finds it. Doesn't execute well. Hawley will want his left too. Decides to go back to the youngster who's made such an impression. Hawley to the putt road end. Offline. First blemish. To your point there, Luke, really just need to have more patience and awareness to bring the ball out to the open side of the ground to switch the play and to come through the forward 50 that way. Yeah, it's exactly right. Nathan Foley switch kick then. It missed the target, but it opened it up. Got Bastia Hooley a shot on goal. So Leicester marks the Harwood kick. 2-1-13. Brisbane yet to score, but they've certainly taken a little bit of pace out of the game. Here's McStay in game two. Mare at the target, drifting in from the side. That's a good mark by Petter, who wastes no time going towards Miles. Might have been better leaving it for Hawley that time. Zorko, as a result, that was a great tackle from behind by Ellis. But they move the ball forward. Mays gets it from Merritt. It'll pop over the top to Green, and the mark is paid. Well, some of the young lines involved in that play there. Sammy Mays, Green, Marco Paparone was involved, and Louis Taylor. That's where you start to see glimpses of a really positive future for Brisbane. They had five players leave, uh, all under the age of 21, but they've obviously still got a nice group coming through at the moment. He's had another productive season in front of the sticks. 19-9 this year after 24-6 last season. He is a good goal kicker, but that's 
not his best effort. Just to behind and opens the Lions scoring. That was a great float across mark by Pat Art on the back yeah, flank. But that switch inside needs to be more composed with the kick. Otherwise, you turn it over there and it's a scoring opportunity for the, uh, for the Lions. Martin, who, after speaking to a couple of Tigers during the week, said has matured remarkably as a person in the last six months. Now, here's a chance through the fumble. Rockcliffe from 50. He's offline. And that's, that's been the problem for Richmond all year. When you look at their statistics um, overall the season, they, they can dominate possession, but it's just that final possession in the chain and turn the ball over. So, just like that. Hooley away and racing. It wasn't a great kick. Paparone should have done better there. Then the ball handballed back to Taylor. Now a chance for Beams close to the line. She taken high and heavy by Chaplin. Yeah, no question about that one. ability to be quite dangerous that didn't it got him on the shoulder more so than the head so i mean if that was head high contact it would have been uh, certainly looked at more closely but just a free kick for over the shoulder what about the sliding tom has that gone completely now i think the players have adjusted really well to the rule and the feedback from the coaches from what i'm led to believe is it's been a terrific addition to the rules and the players have adjusted accordingly Arnott, Newman, Ellis, Marich, Jackson back in last year's best and fairest. Long searching ball. The Lidio, couple of lines, and Maguire was the man that got the fist to the ball. Dan Jackson's had a uh, nice uh, input as to come in, four or five touches early. Got himself back into the game after missing a few weeks. Marich tapped to space. Lions. Well, Howard left it behind in the end. And Going to get held up underneath it all, you would think. The pack gathers. Well, no, squeezes out Ellis. Here's a chance. Jackson become a goal kicker in recent times. Back to Ellis. Fires it through. Miles. Good story, Miles. Delisted Tommy after a couple of years with the Giants. Ten games. And his first month as a Tiger has been outstanding. One of three Tigers this year to be averaging 26. And a hard in and under play, helping Koch out. Yeah, there's no coincidence Koch's performances have also lifted with the back on the back of Miles coming into the side. He complements Koch's class really well. It just shows you and highlights the depth of talent the Giants had. I mean, he was delisted, which by their assessment puts him ranked 40 or below on their list, and he's come into AFL football and uh, like a duck to water, he's been a terrific acquisition for the Tigers. Got picked up at 27 in the rookie draft. Speaking to a few from the How Long Football Club in the Hume Football League, they said he handles everything pretty well. And apparently, when delisted, has no reservations. He'd find another list. It's a player that was confident, and he went, spent time in the VFL. It was outstanding. Had a heap of 30-plus games, and has worked his way into this side. And now is one of the first picked. He's always played to the level, even through the under-18 system and the, the national championships accumulated so much of the ball. Did you just drop into how long during the week came, did you? No, but there's a guy that plays up there, so I caught him. I love the just dropping how long is a name. Back a metre on the mark! Back a metre on the mark! Uh, Troy Chaplin with a footy. They held up on half-back. This has been the problem for the Lions so far, penetrating this area of the ground. Deledio, Newman, and back to Chappie. Just squeezes a little one to Martin. It's been an interesting season for Martin. I think by most accounts, it's been a good year. Maguire chopping off Rockcliffe. Now Harwood in game 50. Goes across the goals. Dangerous, especially with that man lurking. Now he can play on quickly. Edwards breaking in the square. They've got three in a row, the Tigers. Well, Harwood, game 50, milestone match, and not a moment to be particularly proud of right there. No, I mean, that's, that's the class differential, I guess, with some of the top sides and the bottom sides, and turning the ball over across the full back line is always a, uh, a dicey thing, and Harwood wouldn't be feeling too good. Look, that was a uh, disappointing turnover, but look, you don't want a young bloke to uh, to stop doing that. That's what opens up the game. Brisbane last week played outstanding football by switching the ball, creating an open space for them to run onto. That was just a uh, an unfortunate turnover and a goal to the Tigers. So marriage, so much the heart and soul of this club, not just with the fans, with the players and staff. In the end, it's through Hanley that the Lions go forward. Now Zorko 
looks downtown. This is where he's normally pretty good, finishing off with long runs. The one inside beams now to Mays, and Mays can get the Lions first, and he does. And that's the exciting part of what Brisbane is starting to build towards the young players involved there. Piers Hanley had an outstanding game last week, the Irishman turning into a really top-line AFL player, and Sam Mays getting on the end of it. Huge wraps on Sam Mays out of North Adelaide in the SA NFL. He's played a lot of footies, a key forward, lead up forward, but um, as he works on his aerobic capacity, no doubt will move into the midfield for the Brisbane Lions. And that's why Zorko, Taylor and Green are so important for Brisbane. Their speed, they can get numbers, the, the Tigers defence to, to come to them, it opens up a free person in their 50 and gets an easy goal. And that Beams handball was a beauty too. It had to be super quick and super accurate, and it was both. Jackson gives the footy to Edwards. Last goal scorer for the Tigers, good mark, Matty Maguire at the back, pushing off Vickery. So hopefully that last goal just steadies them a little. The kick not great. Aisha's done OK, though. Found the footy. Pettard found him, dumped him to the ground. Umpire in and up it'll go. Reinvigorated his career. Matt McGuire across fullback for the, the Lions. Did you play the Falcons with, with Goose? Possibly? Yeah, yeah, play with Goose. Yep, he uh, it was a big centre back, big booming kick. Um, and uh, he's been able to, uh, since we got to Brisbane, uh, had, a, had a really good career. And not a great handball forward. Paparone, the beneficiary as a result. Merritt trying to burst his way through. Got out of the bachelor tackle the first time, not the second time. But Humpy says it's OK and it'll come. That's what we spoke about before the game of Tyrone Victory. A nice entry into their Ford 50. If he brings that to ground, he doesn't have to mark it. Bring it to ground. Give their Fords uh, a crumbing chance. Otherwise, Maguire takes a mark and, and Lions get to rebound. In the end, Close is doing the ruck work against Ivan Marich. Pat Thull. Got rid of Miles to some extent. Got the handball away, but the Lions don't keep hold of the football. There's a couple always goes looking for Koch, and this time it's cut off. Paparone can set things up. Leicester, short ball to space. It was a clever kick in the end. Zorko, D's with him, and ends up with the football. Zorko, be disappointed with how it all played out in the end, because he did everything right. Jackson just hesitates a little. The Lions, through Paparone, might be able to just bounce back here. Gardner, strong tackle is laid. Foley's disappointed. Lions get the footy. Just needed to turn and roll there. Nathan Foley, good decision from the umpire. So Gardner, who basically spends his afternoons trying to destroy the forward stage, is built to be a defender, never has done too much else in his career. Rockliffe. Well, Aish. From football royalty in South Australia has had some sort of a first season. Ellis rips the ball away. Cochin should be able to find a man over the top. He does to Ellis and runs into Rockcliffe. The look away, not going to work out. It's really important that Brisbane keep getting the ball in quick to their smaller forwards. A quick, exciting forward line. They can't bomb it in long Brisbane. They're getting outworked in the uncontested area. 59 to 29 in favour of the Tigers. So they're getting plenty of the ball and they've got to make the most of it when Brisbane get it in. Tommy just looking at Aisha around the football. We talk about pedigrees in football. He's got it right now. We'll come back to what he's done already, and he's still just 18 years of age. Well, Taylor is also having a phenomenal rookie season. Leaves the ball behind. D, tackled by Green. Slap away, Pat Full. He's got to take on Marich. Did well in the end. Worked it back, close. Around the corner they come, Miles. You talk about the Aish family, and Tommy, and well, red legs. Aisha's over the years. He's already played James Aish, 24 games with the Red Legs for two back-to-back -back flags. Father Andrew Aish, Uncle Michael and Peter, all huge parts of the Red Legs. And he plays just like Michael Aisha. We grew up idolising. Yeah, he does slightly build but knows his way around the football field and uh, a huge amount of courage as well with the class. So 
looking forward to seeing his career develop and the Lions have certainly found a player there. Hodges, man, again, he's been in everything to start the game. He centres this ball up. It was a clever idea, but Gardner just sliding in on his knees. He read it well. The kick just lacked a little bit of penetration, but he's looked good so far, Hodgie. Yeah, he has. And the Brisbane defenders there, they've, uh, their midfield has been able to work back to, to help the defenders get two or three numbers back in there to get in the road. Maguire did well there to Paparone, and now close still with some work to do. Good follow-up by Maguire, and now Patful needs to get rid of it quickly. Miles' tackle seemed to be a little high. No whistle from the umpire. Ends up with Zorko from Paparone, and well done, Maguire. He kept going, and the kick is terrific to Green. That's a really good build-up by the Brisbane Lions. Their, their, their polish is missing at times. Some of the handballs have required their teammates just to stop in their tracks and hasn't been really fluent. But the endeavour to move the ball quickly is evident. And uh, you know, it's a bit of a wobbly punt, but fortune favours the brave. Brisbane have held up well under the huge wave of possession the Tigers have had. So game 47 for the Brisbane Lions. For Josh Green. And he's kicked their second goal of the game. It's back to less than a kick. They're running out of colours, Brisbane, aren't they? Brown disappeared <laughs> a couple of uh, days ago. Caught 10 and black last year. Daryl White's been gone a long time, so it's left with Josh just to add the colour around the place. Three goals last week. Did you mention Blackie? Yeah, he's gone. Gone. Any others that have played? Daryl Yellow. Josh. Albert Red, Daniel Gorringe. <laughs> Orange at the Gold Coast. Jack Redden. <laughs> He's been a terrific player, uh, Green, for the Brisbane Lions in his short career. The Mosquito Fleet, they call them, with uh, Zorko, Green, Louis Taylor's come into that side as well. So, positive signs. So, they get a couple in a row through Mays and Brisbane. Green after the Tykes. Got the first Landon, three. He's back, Ty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank you. What value Hanley's become. Rookie drafted and now just an integral part of this outfit. Rance, huge praise from his coach during the week. The best one-on-one -on -one defensive player in the game right now. He's had some big assignments in recent weeks. Buddy, Nick Revolt, be pleased. Probably the only man in Australia that John O'Brown's no longer playing. Hanley, little fumble, time to recover. Inside he goes. Adcock, Hanley continues to run. Buick will wait, nothing really on. Mays is a long way down the ground and coming at him, Patful. He's about the only option he's got. It's going to be dangerous. Well, the mark taken, oh. the half volley was good stuff from Ellis. Absolutely not intended. Now, Reebok goes short, finds his man. And Arnott, who was delayed in for Matty Thomas, can get the Tigers fourth. Strange sort of game, isn't it? I mean, five, only five points may well be 11, but when you think how Richmond have got some of their goals this afternoon, the Brisbane are right in it. Yeah, both sides have uh, committed some turnovers. Um, Brisbane's have been deep. And if this is a goal here from Arnott, uh, it's a couple that have been direct turnovers deep in their defensive 50. Well, it's a uh, good ball in the end. It waved a bit in the air, but they get their fourth, the Tigers. Out to 11 points now. It's an Andrew Welsh-inspired haircut. If ever you've seen one, Tommy. I think he looked at the commentary roster and thought, Saturday afternoon, Welsh is on the boundary. I'm going to show a bit of respect. Just Very try setting standards in all areas, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Very little doubt I was going to say, Welsh. You've got to interview him post-game, I think, Welsh. You just talk about, talk about your different products. Well, at least I can use some products, Tommy. Yeah, Brisbane have uh, really stepped it up in the, the clearances the last five or ten minutes. It's got, got them back into the game. Richmond got off to a really good start, but it's been impressive by the uh, Brisbane mids to, to, to dig in deep and fight back. So Richmond back out to an 11-point lead. Hanley off the back of the pack. That kick not perfect for Taylor, but he can run onto this. The captain of the Vic Country under-18s last year. The kick wasn't ideal, but into the pocket. Interesting right up. In this morning's paper, the 19-year-old, fourth smallest player in the game today, captain of Vic Country, pick 28 in the draft. Every game this year, and last week against North Melbourne, his career high with 23 disposals. A young man really making a name for himself up in Brisbane. Martin's kick out of the pack. Ellis was a good tackle. Didn't really make an attempt to get rid of it. Miles then swoops, and Edwards, Ellis, 
Pedard's clearing kick now towards the wing. Revolt, long way from home. Well done, Clark. Revolt again, second effort, and Clark did I. Really good article, wasn't it, this morning? Uh, Robbo wrote the article in regard to Taylor, talking about how he'd had such a tough upbringing. Mort Lake, Hamilton, Tim Boone, Mount Gambier, lived all over the place, generally on farms. and He's a tiny man playing huge footy. Yeah, mum and dad split when he was young, and at 16, a court decided where he was going to live. So all of that in the background to his football career, but a man of great application. Now, D did very well there. The conquer handball wasn't ideal, and he got rid of it quickly. Jackson through the middle, and away now Newman. The former skipper can run. He runs at the defence, gets inside 50. He'd love a goal. Stop line. Well, the current skipper, Trent Cotchin, was uh, resting deep forward. He's got an ability to do that. He's certainly built that into his game this year. Pat Fuller's direct opponent. So a good result for Brisbane to have their best defender on Cotchin when he's deep forward. Gardner, one of these eight lines with less than 30 games experience, works it to Beams, who's recovered from injury and playing terrific footy. Martin, his fifth game back, works it inside, chance for Green, finds him, back it comes from Leicester into the arms of Martin, long ball, all about the bounce now, it skips on, but not quite the distance. Closing speed was good, well, maybe. It was in perfect position here. Yeah. Score review. Umpire's call is touched. Can you please review to make sure it's underway? Touched? Good call. Spot on by the going by that. Yep. Just back yourself, don't you there, Hodge? He's in the right spot. Yeah, we've got the technology. If you're Use not 100% it. right, go for the technology. You wouldn't mind a breather, would you, out there? Yeah, that's, that's what the players are. Happy to get a bit of a rest. Review completed. Confirmed. Touched. So as a player, Hodge, no frustration whatsoever with the video review system. Uh, oh, that, that happened very quickly then. That was nice and clear. Up, They went for the call and got it back. But, um, look, they got the right decision. That's the main thing. Nice yeah. pragmatic view from the skipper yeah. of the Hawks, isn't it? Yeah, well done. How did, how did you feel last week, Hodgie, when it was pouring down rain and there's a couple of longer ones? <laughs> uh, I got a break and I think I was sitting on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Eating monkey's uh, tubes. <laughs> Bit of sniper fire from Welshie down below early. Patful, the ball into the middle, and it's a good kick towards Martin from Rockcliffe. And Rockcliffe playing well, as is this man, Martin, getting plenty of the football. Goes back to Rockcliffe, tough one to mark. It was a good effort from McStay, did nicely, and very quickly releases Taylor, and his Thank kick you. good. There, Leicester marks. So, have worked the footy well here. Merritt is the marking contest. Marich drifting across, he got his arm to it. Merritt didn't really get a run at it in the end. And the ball over the line. Look, Stephen Martin, he's, uh, he's been outstanding coming in as a ruckman, being able to push forward. He almost kicked that goal uh, just before, but his around the ground work is as good as any ruckman going around. Front spot just over the top in the end. Petard able to take it cleanly. Hanley left it behind. Well, suddenly it comes out the back and Taylor can jag one and can half a chance. No problem. That's an interesting one. That's the one where it's the typical rolling ball and there's been certain uh, commentary surrounding that to just blow the whistle. Um, it be interesting to get a view of uh, the Richmond supporters on that one because it's come out at the last minute. I'd argue the whistle should have been blown moments before that. Yeah. But uh, the beneficiaries certainly... Brisbane Lions there. With that as well as... Just it's, it's in and around there for so long and comes out at the last minute, Hodgie. Yeah, well, we've been instructed by umpires that they're going to let it free flow, so don't stop until the whistle gets blown. If the whistle doesn't blow, you keep fighting. So fair enough in that situation then, Hodgie? Uh, yes. Okay, interesting one, because as Tom alluded to, the whistle did come, well, rather the lack of whistle, came very late. Now, Miles plays on quickly, Revolt in that direction, and that's well done. Working off him, Clark's taken a good mark. Young man, only 20 years of age. He doesn't turn 21 until November, playing game 29, and again, part of that young brigade that have the Lions' futures and in those, their hands. And that's those young... Uh, brigade, as you talk oh, about, a number of them are key defenders, and I've got no doubt there's a strong Justin Nephews print on the way they play. Revolt, what a ripper. Third man up. He had his name all over it, and Jumping Jack 
did it as his name suggests. Yeah, strong, that's a strong contested mark. It has been an area of the game, Richmond. Just watch this here. Had a good rise, a good sit. And uh, they're currently ranked fourth for marks inside 50, and he provides such a strong focal point. With that there, Matty Maguire, seeing he's got a teammate in front of him, he's got to push back, take uh, Jack Rewald's run and jump with the ball, let his teammate take an easy mark. Jack Rewald is a, a run and jump player. You give him his strength, he's going to continue to do this. So a kick after the siren here. Jack with 39 goals for the season. He started the round in fourth spot for the Coleman, six behind Jay Schultz. He was sixth last year with 57. A goal in every game this year, and of course, 11 against GWS. For Richmond's fifth after the siren, Jack doesn't let them down, and the Tigers will take an 11-point lead into the quarter time break. Good game of footy here at the MCG. Good conditions for footy. And we're enjoying what we're seeing, 17th, 13th, but it's better than that. A break and back with the second quarter after this. Where's Buddy Bear.com? If you can see the, the players, and it's pretty hard not to see one of the Tigers players, go to Where's Buddy.com. Log in, you're a chance to go to Cairns. Good on your Hammer. Jack Revolt with that goal after the siren to give Richmond the 11 point lead they enjoy as the second term gets underway. And Martin, he has been terrific, enjoying being back at the MCG. Obviously, played all of his football here with Melbourne. Zorko did nicely to Taylor. And then Buick close to the line. He sends it high inside 50. Green was the target. Not ideal, G. He's had that a long time, Chaplin. Lucky not to be pinged there for holding the ball. And that's a good aggressive start from the Lions to start this second term. Well, Stefan Martin with the clearance there. He's up to seven disposals. For the Lions, Rockcliffe and Hanley have nine apiece. And for the Tigers, Brandon Ellis continuing his good form with 11. Jackson with 10. Cochin with eight. Rockcliffe doing everything at the moment there. Third man up. That was well scooped up towards Cochin. You heard the call for Rance, who went with the backhand to Miles. And was taken high. That's it, Tom. Now, Rockcliffe and Hanley, very good to start the game, but the lesser lights have been terrific as well, Tom. Yeah, they have. The young defenders, Tom, really like Darcy Gardner and McStay across half back for the, uh, for the Brisbane Lions. Leicester's been good, Paparone. And Taylor, an emerging player, that's for sure. Yours, yours. Time back on. So all is not lost for the Brisbane Lions. D now. Play They've got reason to have some optimism. I mean, hard to believe, really, isn't it, that these teams, 10 wins last year for Brisbane, 15 oh! wins last year for oh! Richmond, and that we're talking about them in round 16, both being 4 and 10. So Pedard goes long down towards the goal square. Revolt again. He's climbing very high this afternoon. Now, Richmond want to deliver it out of bounds. Edwards had a hand in that as well, and it'll be tossed in around from the behind post. Just dominating overall possession at the moment. Richmond 123 to 97, but in the contested stat, Brisbane up 33 to 27. First man there, Cochin. What can he manufacture around the corner to his little new mate, Miles? That touch there is not many uh, people can do. A turn around off one step, nice little snap across the body to uh, find a teammate about 15, 20 metres away in between a couple of Brisbane lines. That, that's why he reminds you of Adley. It was a well-weighted ball, wasn't it? So the man that started the year on the rookie list has been upgraded and will end as one of the men Damien Hardwick go to first when putting the 22 together as an opportunity. Send the Tigers to a 17-point lead. Through the numbers he goes. Roger, you mentioned uh, Trent Cotchin, a young captain, in the first year last year. How do you see him, his development as an on-field leader? I guess it's hard. He's got to uh, obviously perform himself, but then there's so many other roles that people don't think of when you come. And that's a lot of the... I guess he's the voice from the players to the coaches. He's got to be involved in a lot more meetings. Outside just preparing for himself. So it is a big role for him. But uh, look, he's an impressive person, impressive footballer. And uh, he'll, down, he'll get that down pat the next few years. Maguire had his hands over the footy there for a while. It was Rockcliffe's handball out. And then you heard that high contact then against Vickery. Leicester takes the free kick. He runs on quickly, so they'll need to take a few risks if they're going to be in this game 
for a long time. It comes at the back of the pack to Taylor. This is good here. An opportunity. Fast ball in. Merritt's on his own. Well done. Pedard got back quickly. That was very well done. Newman. And now Martin's clearing kick. And Buick's going to get there first. Can he keep it in? No, he couldn't. But that was really well done by Pedard. That's two or three efforts by Pedard. He had one in the first quarter, which floated across it and took the mark uh, on a 2v1 occasion. And then dropping back on a big source. Uh, as a great effort. Touch of Luke Hodge about that play, Tom. Yeah, there was, absolutely. And Miles getting his hands on the footy. He's wrapped up straight away. 5-3, 3-3. The build-up was good from the Lions there, so Merritt providing a target just needs to make them stick because the ball movement, the risk taken by the Lions players and the build-up was positive. So Martin giving away that free kick and Vickery has it on half-back. Made sure the umpire saw that it was over the shoulder. Vickery's sort of player that's capable of hurting himself as he acts and goes to ground. So he's lucky to get away with all that. Kick the first two of the afternoon. They want some more here, the Tigers. Marich, just to space. Foley, Gardner, Foley, well, did well in the end. Deledio, the quick give to space. Paparone will get there first. And they're still in a bit of trouble because Richmond are going to apply the pressure here. Leicester, back it comes. McStay, short ball, put Taylor under pressure. The reason why they went for that small kick there is they had Tyrone and Vickery drop it behind the play, so pretty smart there. If he had a bombed it away, Tyrone would have taken the easy, uncontested mark. So this young Lions outfit, trailed by a couple of majors to the Tigers. Hanley, well, Vickery again, desperate, went and won the football at ground level. Jackson and his comeback game. Cocker works his way around Taylor and then through, and then the long ball, Marich. Maguire, the battle is on. Who can do it at ground level? Gardner again, again against Foley. Bit of a mismatch height-wise. They've seen a bit of each other in the last Little few ball. moments. Brisbane, you dived on it, you have to knock it clear. Another Colac boy, Nathan Foley, Hodgie. Yeah, went to school with Foles. Uh, 29 years old this year, I think. So he's, uh, he's come off some uh, Achilles injuries the last few years, but looks like he's getting his, back, uh, his body back in order. Back a metre, Ty. Back a metre. Thank you. One-on-one -on -one matchups everywhere at the moment, so long down the line, you suspect, with this ball. Well, Rance, he went to go and climb over the top of both Chaplin and Merritt, just mistimed it a little, didn't get any ability to be impactful in the play. Green, well, really tough ball for any forward. Comes off the face, back into Zorko. Mays just copped it in the chin. Brisbane free, let it go. Cut it out, let him get the ball. Let him get the ball, Jake, please. I'll tell you what, there's the probably four Thank or five you. guys in the... Mark, Sam out now. There's four or five guys in the competition who can really get a high free kick, and, uh, and Zorko's one of them. <laughs> he really knows where to drop the, uh, the centre of gravity when a tackler's coming. And there's a real... So I've got no problem with that. There's a real skill in that, and there's obviously players of all shapes and sizes, and uh, always plays the ball and gets rewards for it. Zorko hasn't missed since debut. 53 games on the trot and he hasn't missed there either. Tigers by a goal. It provides real energy for Brisbane. And as you say, he's come into the side and uh, made a position for himself. He's had to battle away through the NEFL competition up in Queensland. He was a top-ranked junior through the National Under-18s competition but was overlooked in the draft and put his head down and worked really hard. He's rewarded with a spot on the Brisbane list and he's delivering well above and beyond what the expectations were when he was drafted. It's, uh, it's great to see Brownie there leave the bar at quarter time to come down and chat to a, uh, a few of his teammates. But one thing about Brown is he, uh, he says he watches as much football as he can. He's a very uh, knowledgeable footballer. Now he's left the crownies behind, but he's got the jubes going, that's for sure. So there is something being consumed at all times for Brownie. Terrific to see him still involved and so actively involved. And his team, again, going well here. Only a goal down after that very meritorious victory last week over North Melbourne. And Hodgie, I bet that win to you looks very good after what took place last night. Yeah, exactly right. What, uh, what Richmond have uh, not been able to let him do is they haven't been able to switch and give the uncontested ball. Here's Revolt, who has been in everything. Hasn't had a heap of possession, but... Well, it's a terrible handball given away to Koch and it wasn't nicely done. Patful, a bit Aaron and McStay it was with a bad handball. 
And the ball is still alive here. Now the umpire's hovering, and I don't think he'll ping them this time. With the young side, the developing side, you work on the basics first. It's contested possessions and tackles. And Brisbane really doing well in those two statistics, although Richmond getting more uncontested balls. So at the coal face, more than competitive, the Lions. Jackson, little kick, didn't really go anywhere. Maguire, now Lester, Zorko, who's been so busy. That's a clever little kick. Does it go out? Eventually it does. Bit of push and shove over the boundary line as well. And we've got a good game of footy on our hands here, boys. That's a good leap there from Jack. What I like about Stefan Martin is he launches the ball as well. Sees it as his opportunity to take an intercept mark. Beams to space. So the foot race is on. Chaplin goes hard at it. He and Close got the football. It's going to ricochet back to McStay. Game two. Now back to Beams, who started it all. Back to Maguire, who started it all as a saint. Eight years there. This is his fifth as a lion. Ball to the outer side. So this young Lions outfit staying in touch. Into the middle it goes. Hanley. Just drew the man over the top to Harwood. Sweeping ball to Taylor. He's got Zork on over the top. Will use him. Finds him now. Beams has drifted forward to Zorko. Got Hawley to beat. Inside it goes. Source. Well, Rance again. Doing what he needs to do one on one. Neutralises the contest. Sees the ball over. Plays the percentage as well. It's a really good build up. Next day was the player for Brisbane to switch it into the centre. It was a risky kick. But uh, held his nerve and then brought it out through the open side of the ground. And gave Merritt a chance to take a mark inside the 450. Close doing the right work. Newman sharks the ball to Chaplin to the boundary line. Revolt. Clark doing the chasing. Revolt. Long ball. Now to Martin. Can he manufacture a, a little shimmy and charge past Maguire? We go long. He does the ladder. Now the bounce. Two, three. Oh, not quite. It's still there. Hanley will go back. He should get support from Maguire. It looked good for a long way, but then just lipped out. Gave it a real ride, didn't he? And they're not done with yet here, the Tykes. Pennard forward, Conker. Back to Pennard. Jack is loose. He didn't lower the eyes, goes longer. And that's a very good defensive mark by Patful. Well done. Read that beautifully. Short one for Clark. An emerging defender of some note and quality. Yeah, this is where uh, Richmond have been outstanding. You see Brisbane forcing back off the mark, having to kick down the line. Last week, Brisbane were able to switch the ball and get open play, uncontested possession. It was a good handball forward by Close. Just a bit unlucky they couldn't run onto it there. Rance did brilliantly. Got around Paparone. Handball for Bachelor. In trouble. Great tackle. Aish. Umpire watches. Oh, Hovers. Up it'll come. Here's the Martin one here. Have a look at this. I think everyone in the stadium thought that was going through. Dustin Martin himself, I think, was pushing back to the centre of the ground. But, uh, I mean, he's having a terrific season. Another good game for Martin today. 13 disposals. Unlucky, home. You were that close to seven plays. <laughs> Here he is, Edwards, through the middle. That's an interesting kick. He pulled that cleverly for Martin. Just spotted him out of the corner of his eye. Now, Miles is on. He goes longer than that down towards the pocket. And Deledio can't run onto the footy. Bit of a uh, wasted opportunity there from uh, from Martin. He gets a mark in the centre square, turns round. He had uh, one v ones long at the top of the goal square and goes to the pocket. Well, Martin, who's had a big term already, I think seven possessions. Brisbane against you, Varden. Finds himself doing some ruck work. Harwood chooses Hanley. Always think of Hanley, Tommy, when they took him as an Irishman and picked him up in the rookie draft. They would have been uncertain with what. They had. He's become so valuable. I always think of Antiques Roadshow when the old couple go in and get the plate valued and they think it's sort of 17 bucks. So, three million quid. Well, that's good value. Handley's become like that. Well, I was, I was actually speaking to Lee Matthews about Pierce Handley during the week and when he first arrived as a rookie from uh, Ireland, he was just surprised at how well he kicked the ball from day dot. And they gave him games late in that last season in 2008. He's developed into an absolute star. Well, a chance for Pat Full here. Can't quite control it the first time. Did the second. Got rid of a tackler. Kicks it goal. Well, Rats doing the goalkeeping work. Settles things down again and gives it to Ellis, who's become a prolific ball getter over the top. Marich just works it over the top. Foley. Ellis again. 
So waste no time, away he goes. And they get the football back from Arnott, back to Ellis, a couple of bounces. He could have kept going, he goes with a long kick instead. Brilliant back lead from Rebolt. Handball over the top, Hodgie, are you on song? Not quite, cruel bounce again. Gardner gets the footy, back to Maguire. And the clearing kick is going to be OK towards Aish. Now he needs it to sit for him. Traffic closing, it was Martin. But he did very nicely to get the football onto Taylor. Beams, high contact, good tackle. Ball is going to go up. Well, a cruel bounce, not once, but twice for the Tigers in this term. Just needs to go back and kick the goal, Jack. I mean, it's very meritorious to share the ball around inside Ford 50. But if you're the full forward and take a mark 25 metres out, go back and take out any opportunity for it not to be a goal. Yeah, there's unselfish, isn't there? And then there's potentially foolish unselfishness, not saying that that's what Jack was doing then. He had the right intentions, but sometimes you just do it yourself. Unfortunately, all full forwards do that. They want to say they're unselfish, so they give off the really ones they should kick, and then the ones that they shouldn't, they have a shot at. He's had an interesting game, Jack, hasn't he? He's been jumping magnificently. He's kicked, as we know, a goal. He could have given one or two off. And uh, he's gone so close with a couple as well. Here's Conkel working his way through the traffic to Marriage. They work the ball backwards to Grimes. It was well done by Patful. Got an important hand in there. Then Taylor trying to crash his way through. Did well, Rockcliffe. And now the ball moved forward by Zorko. Beams within range. He goes towards Green. Not an easy one to mark. He turns, stays alive in the contest, and then unlucky off the ground. Just didn't quite get the purchase on the footy he wanted. Partly off the side of the boot. But they stay in the contest, Brisbane. 4-4, four, 5-3. Four, it's a five-point ball game. And a good ball game. Ellis, 15 touches in this first half. Well, he's an outstanding football. Justin Clark, building. He's a man that needs to put some kilos on his big frame. Brisbane are uh, doing well to be within uh, five points. It's, it feels that Richmond have had the run. They've moved the ball a lot cleaner than what Brisbane have, so that they're fighting and they're holding on. Well, both sides have really spent that uh, last chain of possession that let them down. I mean, Richmond had so much possession of the footy, but just haven't been able to really punish Brisbane. And, and likewise, when Brisbane have had the opportunity to go forward also. So the two big men, Tussle and Collide. Marich, little pat down was good. Rockcliffe had an enormous finish to the end of last year and he's seen a lot of the football this too. These two have been going at it for about the last 30 seconds. They've just drifted further and further away from the stoppage. A little bit of a how do you do. Cochin, Hooley, neither could take it cleanly. Aish, a bit of help from Paparone. So we could jump in the coach's box at one of these two teams, Tom, beyond this year. Which side has the most upside, do you think? I think the most upside's with Brisbane at the moment, just because of the, the, uh, the I guess, the youth of the squad. We mentioned 16 ages playing tonight. They're all going to come through at the same time, and, and Hodge will be out of vouch for that. Really good sides have a wave of players around the same age coming through at the same time, so plenty to work for with the Brisbane Lions. And plenty of good players right now, Tommy, in the repair shop. Yep. Waiting to come back. Rich yep. and Lewenberger and Staker, Redden. Lewenberg and Rich are the really important ones. I mean, they're you know, your number one ruckman and your prime contested ball midfielder also. Well, front spot again. The man that's done great defensive work for the Tigers in the last month. That's what Tom was talking about, the uh, entry going inside 50. It hasn't just been today, it's been all year, yeah. which has been the disappointing thing. That's probably why they're both both on the four wins each. Well, Hodgie, no side has gone inside 50 less this year. And you think about that, it obviously makes it difficult to score goals. But they've been goalless in the last quarter against the Giants, goalless in the first two against Freo, goalless in the last quarter, last two against North. So 13 goals in the last nine quarters coming to this. Goalless in four of their last nine quarters coming to this. So just terrible numbers. And you can understand why the forwards are getting frustrated. Uh, you need more supply. Let's go down to Welshie. There you can see why Damien Harvey rates France as one of the best one-on-one -on -one competitors in the competition at the moment. He's kept merit just to the one handball so far, which is a, a great job on a player for Brisbane that can be so dangerous. He might get some more work to do here. Hanley, that was interesting. Close to the line. Mays. 
Almost sold him into trouble. Yeah, it was an interesting quote from the coach, wasn't it? Best one on one defender in the comp at the moment, conceding only 13 goals in his nine games, and four of those were against Buddy. So, of 43 contests, 18 wins at 43%. Stats thanks to John Ralph at the Herald Sun, and he's neutralised 18 and lost only seven. They're good numbers, Tom. Oh, yeah, he was a, a massive omission at the start of the year for the Tigers when they got off to a really poor start and set the tone for their season. Deledio, the other player out, but that match against Franklin. Franklin hit the four goals and was probably the difference in the end, but it was as good a one-on-one -on -one footy between those two players as you'll see all year. It was interesting, wasn't it, when he oh. Oh, was out injured, uh, fell off bike. Said in the team sheets. <laughs> Would have been a fixie too, I reckon. Not too many of those, is there? Maguire, the handball was over the top. That was nicely done. Adcock, then Paparone, and now Green. He's got options everywhere. One of them is this man, Taylor. And Taylor marks 45 degree angle, about 30 metres out. Could have gone quickly to the square. But as we've come to know about this young man, he likes the moment. He believes in himself and he can get the job done. And you've seen that collision there with Adcock and Miles. Miles, a tough little buggy, jumps straight back up and jogs back down to his, uh, down to his position. And that was a, Adcock's a, a very hard body and he, he got, him, got him quite nice. So Taylor's kicked one already this afternoon in his 15th game. Eight goals in his career. This to make it really interesting. He just didn't start it online. Would have put them in front, in fact. Just speaking about Miles, Hodgie, speaking to a couple of the club during the week, He's either got a cracked rib or really badly broke, uh, bruised ribs. He's wearing a rib guard. No one's been speaking about it, but the guys you speak to say there are fewer tougher individuals than Miles. Yeah, exactly right. You can see by that collision then. Uh, Adcock, as I said, he's a very hard body, and when he gets you, he, uh, he tends to get you pretty well. So Miles jumps straight back up and back onto playing football. And here he is on cue. Coming into his debut, he'd had 30 plus in three of the last four matches in the VFL. He's been averaging 26 in his first month as a Tiger. Pedard been in and out of the side to Foley. His body's led him down a little, had that huge run back in 09 and 10. Just needed to carry the ball a bit further there, Richmond. They had uh, Tyrone Vickery one out with Jed Adcock if they could get the ball in there deep, but again chose to. Play the ball wide. When I say huge run, huge run on the sideline, 09 and 10. Runner up at the best at Ferris 2007 and an All Australian nominee. Well, he hasn't quite had the year he would have liked. Hanley, the one, Leicester. Mays waits, Miles. Chance for Edwards, but it was Rockliffe and Leicester who are making it very difficult. Often you win the argument with the umpires, Hodgie. Dustin Martin just saying he was being held. Do you think having a chat helps you for the next decision? I think, yeah, I think it's just letting them aware, uh, keeping them aware. Umpires are obviously trying to look out for it, uh, but just if you let them know, because certain, uh, certain taggers do hold more than others, so as long as the umpires can understand it, they are doing it. As you can see, Gaz uh, mentions that quite a fair bit to, uh, to the umpires <laughs> in pre previous weeks. <laughs> That'd be an intriguing matchup, one at the, the McCaffrey Ablett matchup. Clark, I think. Is it Clark or? Balls up there. Yep. Gardner. Balls up there. They still haven't worked the ball up to where the umpire's pleading for it, and that's given the Richmond football side time. There was no one from the Tigers behind the ball where it is now. So Paparone goes wide. Mays had a difficult assignment. Rockliffe, a bit of space, and that was all pretty clumsy stuff in the end. Well, not open. Let's watch here on that. The old, uh, the old jumper thrust, no doubt that's a free kick. And taken back on the 50 where the possession was. And that was the confusion for the Lions there. They really need to respond a bit quicker so they can get the ball moving forward. As was mentioned, gave Richmond a chance to get the numbers back. Martin, the don't argue, and then back to the former skipper. And there's Victory again, the strong man with the big frame, who has shown a bit of everything already today. Now the long ball, top of the square, it might be further still. Revolt, terrific shepherding in the end. Well, this is extraordinary stuff. Vickery, he's got his third. Hodgie, I'd love the quaddy numbers if you could. <laughs> and also the 
Powerball numbers. You've seen it well today. Vickery has been up and down all year. You said he's a player you're looking forward to seeing today. And the long bomb from outside 50. I wasn't sure if he was trying to centre that and just come off the inside <laughs> of his boot. But, look, he's, uh, he's been impressive today. And that's the thing with Tyrone. He, uh, look, he, he ha can make mistakes. He's made a couple today. But as long as he forgets about him, goes back, takes marks when he can, and just backs himself. And he's very happy with himself there, looking at the crowd, saying, how good am I? Is that <laughs> what he was saying? Uh, it looked like the um, I think it was Bradbury moment. Uh, arms out uh, over the line. Did I kick that? No, I think it was, I'm, with, I'm with Hodge. I think he was sort of gesturing to the crowd, but wasn't 100% confident. <laughs> That that's what he should be doing. <laughs> well, here he is again, Victor. He set this ball long inside 50, and they really are up and about. Conquer to Cochin. The ball was smothered, and it's still alive in there. And that was interesting from Cochin diving in to win the footy. Like uh, primary school muggings out at recess time. Well, you were speaking about Brian Lake uh, beforehand. Not sure whether you're going to get uh, Charlie or Hank from me, myself, and Irene. But the same with. Tyrone Vickery, you're not sure whether you're going to get Charlie, who can be very responsible and do all the right things, or Hank, who's <laughs> capable of atrocious things and not sure how it's all going to play out. But that last goal was something else from just on 55, maybe even further. Rebound the target. Well done, Pat. Right there, Jack. Just got a hold here, the Brisbane Lions. And ten points down. They've done a mountain of work to give themselves a chance in this game. Conversely, Richmond an opportunity now that's in their front half to go on with a 16-point lead. Tough one for Beams there. He had a couple to beat, and the couple win the day. Batchelor started it all off, and in the end with Martin, who goes short himself. Martin now up to 17 disposals. He's had 11 for the quarter. Pennard with less than two minutes on the top, just suggesting they might hold it up a little. Revolt the target in the pocket. Cochin, well done. Handball for Marriage. On the 50, wants to come back inside. Hands free to be able to do just that. Conquered ditto. And the handball backwards, that's nicely done. Arnott's ball inside. Well, Buick on the chest. Maybe hands outstretched would have been better. Zorko to Martin. And the clearing kick is not a clearing kick because the mark is taken by D. So you're right, Tom. They've done a lot of good work in this term. And to give up a goal here would be almost criminal. Vickery... Initiated the body contact and couldn't get the arms free. Revolt, clever, Ellis, well smothered by Paparone. Involved a couple of times with Mays, gets it back. Now the ball towards the wing. Close did well. Pushed his man out. Here's Rance. We get a look at him in the one-on-one -on -one situation and we'll call that one a draw. It adds to the tally. He is a very good footballer now. Sorely missed, as we said at the start of the year. Alex Rance. So the Lions leading the turn by a point. The man, Richmond. Richmond. The Tigers leading the match Stay by out. 10. So still time for the Tigers to add to their tally. Newman to Martin. Back to Newman. Well, Martin thought about it. Then over the top, Hawley or Conker. The ladder in the end. Quick give, terrible stuff, intercepted. Again, didn't want the responsibility of kicking the goal. Cotchin to Batchelor. Batchelor, the single man. Yep, he gets a major. It is important for Richmond because they have dominated uh, the game for the past five or six minutes, but haven't been able to put it on the board. Just Brisbane succumbing to the pressure there. With that, Dustin Martin as well, he's getting too much of the football. You can't let a person with that much ability, especially getting it centre forward, when he's got it going inside 50, he's a dangerous player. I mean, he's had the 18 disposals, as you say, Luke, only three of those contested. So he's not the explosive type of player that he should be able to burn you off your legs. So 15 of his disposals being uncontested is far too much. And something Justin Lepich and the Brisbane coaching staff will need to lock down on. That's a way to numbers there for Brisbane. It's been... Uh, Complete domination by the Tigers in the past five or so minutes. That's for sure. 41 games to get his first goal for Jake Batchelor and only three games to get the next one. 16 seconds on the clock. Is there time for a goal at either end? You'd suggest yes, but it needs to break quickly now. And it might be breaking Richmond's way, aren't it? Although Buick did well, stood up in the road. So it's going Brisbane's way. Close, trying to get the handball out of Ricochet back into the contest. And marriage just loping away on the siren. Pretty entertaining first half. He 
It's Richmond by 16 points. The Tigers 7-3, Brisbane 4-5 pre-game. Luke Hodge, our special guest, selecting the uh, Thai Vickery. Timing's everything. Start of the second half. It's the Tigers by 16 points. 7-3, 4-5. They've given plenty of cheek, the Brisbane Lions, but we know what they're capable of, given last week's performance over North Melbourne. So can they make a real game of it away from home? They're only outing at the MCG for the year thus far. There's Miles with that free kick. Hanley, who's been getting a lot of the footy and has looked really good. Not a great handball away there. They disappointed to give that up through Gardner. Martin, his kick to the pocket, not quite. The clearing kick is OK by Rockliffe this time. So Martin gets another opportunity here. Chaplin, back to Martin. Disposal number 20 to join Cochin, who goes past him straight away with 21. They work the ball inside, and Miles gets it from Newman. Long ball in the Vickery direction. Three goals in the opening half. He's been terrific. Gardner, little touch across to Patful. Paparone can't mark at the ball over the line. So, Hodge, as we said, they'll be pleased with their opening half, the Brisbane Lions. A little bit more composure, and they could be even closer than they find themselves right now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Richmond got it on top of them in the second half of the second quarter there with the clearances. Um, they've already won the first couple already, so Brisbane need to uh, pick up if they want to stay in the game this quarter. Tigers by 11 at quarter time, 16 at the long break. That's the margin now. Early going in this third term, Petard with Hooley back to Petard. A few loose men in the middle for the Tigers. Petard can't get around Taylor for the moment, now does. Well, it's a pretty ordinary kick. Three Lions, and really just Shane Edwards, and he was disadvantaged with a kick and with his own height. Hanley, the lateral ball with some lines on the outer side. Here's an opportunity. Clark waits for it. He's got Buick over the top. He's going to use him now. Mays is deep. Close. Merritt, all options inside. So too green into the pocket goes. Mays was the target. He's going to have to be very good to hit him. Really have missed a key focal forward, haven't they, the, the Brisbane Lions. Daniel Merritt's one-on-one -on -one with Rance on a lot of occasions, but that hole that John O'Brien's left is really noticeable this afternoon. You'd think that was on top of the agenda for the recruiters, wouldn't you, Tom? In the off-season, Zorko tries to bust through a few, can't get through. Well, they'll have uh, seemingly a really early pick. And the national under-18s have just concluded this week. South Australia winning that. But some good key position players from Vic Country in particular available. Marich and Martin again. Two beasts, two battle, shoulder to shoulder. Titch Edwards over the top. Well, put Vickery under pressure, and then Maguire was the tackler. Now, a chance for Zorko. Quick kick from 45, won't travel the journey. Chaplin. And now Green tries to work his way through. This is where he's quite dangerous. Into the run of Taylor. Here's a chance. He's already kicked one snap. Can he get a second? It's a high ball. It's an accurate ball. And wow. Well, Not quite. Just going back to the tall forwards, would you trade an early draft pick to get a mature that's big a, man if there was one available, Tom? I mean, that's the that's the uh, the catch there, Hayne, the one available part of hey, Clubs just don't hey, give man. away really good promising tall key forwards, so through the draft might be the best bet. Poor kick by Hooley that time, and a very good mark taken by Michael Close. See, that was really good. Maguire was the man picked out by Hooley. Strong hands there, Hodgie. Yeah, close was a person last week who tried to play the John O'Brown role, tried to play a little bit deeper. Obviously, he's still got to put on a little bit of size, but he can run, jump, take a big mark as well. It was interesting, wasn't it? Good the call from the umpire. Whole ball over the line. No, the whole ball wasn't as tight. No, no. Yeah, good call. Right. If they go on, Michael, Mark's here. Find another look. If we get a second. You're obviously not backing the umpire or myself. Jury's out. Okay. So the opening goal of the second half, really important for Brisbane here. Close in his eighth game for his sixth goal. 
And that's a good start for the Lions. He's a good size, isn't he? And uh, I think what we like about this Brisbane side is that so many of their players obviously playing this afternoon are very young, so they're going to come through together. They look like they've got some good key defensive pillars, and if Close can stand up as a key forward, and maybe, as you say, Hamish, they go to the draft, and this year's draft, from all accounts, has a number of good key tall position players. Have another one of those. They're building a good spine for the future. And here it is, guys. It's oh, I reckon that's touched. I would call that touch. I reckon that's a great call by the umpire. The ball is still touched. Jeez. I reckon there's a centimetre behind. I'll probably poke that touch. That's two in a row. They've got the umpires. Well done. Sympathetic jury, I reckon, up here, but no, be that as it may. Call stands in quite right. The football, the entire football, must be over the line. So if a millimetre of it is not, it's not a goal. Now, we do know, Baz, that the goal review panel check every goal so although they won't necessarily make that public knowledge and they would have reviewed and they would have cast their own judgment no. on that one although tom that one was a point so would they have had the time to do that yep yep they okay. do them all Radio. zorko meantime gets the ball into the middle of the ground and martin they're coming really hard here this has been an encouraging start to the second half by brisbane and paparone's kick it was a dangerous one but let's stay who did McStay in the team despite that error last week. Game number two. It's too early, too early for those sorts of needs one line as best. Predictable, really. We'll kick it in the middle now at Leicester. He sends it long. They got a marking option. Well, they did have one. Merritt had one hand up. Green, he's dangerous in this situation. Ran out of space. The with, ball over the line. With that ball there, Brisbane Lions were setting up for a big switch on the other side. So if they can get the ball transferred to the other side of the ground, they have the open side of the 50 to, to come in from. Well, they're going to have to find that as an alternative avenue to goal at the moment. Merritt not able to get any space on Rand, so they're going to have to use the ball well to their smaller forwards. Well, the last minute or so has been good for the Lions. The last four inside 50s to Brisbane. They trailed by 16 at half time. Just nine now. Nervous Richmond fans. It has been a bleak old season. They came today anxious as they so often do. And this year it has been a topsy-turvy sort of year. The Lions formed last week against North Melbourne. Well, outstanding in the second term. They held on for the win. Revolt happy to smash it through from a long way out. We saw Martin handball it from a long way out a couple of weeks ago. Umpire says all OK. So Foley got a lot of grass ahead of him. Over the top, just draws a couple, and then Bachelor receives. He sees ahead, not much at all, so he just retreats. Little shimmy, well, and then a dangerous ball. Mays, Beams, short ball, not 15. A chance for Zorko, long way out. They're back within three points, the Lions. Make it two. Two points now the Richmond lead and this young outfit have got a belief about them. They've got some confidence and it's the usual suspects. Aish, Taylor, Zorko, Hanley, Beams. Worries for the man with the phone to his left ear. Year five and he's starting to feel the heat. The spotlight is on Richmond right now. Well, Jack Revolt sensing the heat has pushed deep forward now. Some might question whether that's deliberate or intentional through the points. My understanding is you have to possess the ball either handball or kick. Um, that would be determined as a spoil. Therefore, all above and beyond. You do wonder why he wouldn't have marked it, though. I guess we can give him the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps he didn't know what Unfamiliar was around territory, perhaps, Bass. Yeah, well said. Now they're really coming here. Little handball forward. Zorko got it towards Green. He's gang tackled. Suddenly the intensity's gone up from the Tigers as well. They know they've got a challenge on their hands here, Luke. Yeah, exactly right. Both teams have uh, put a spare behind the ball as well. Matty Maguire's playing spare for Brisbane. And also, I think it was Basha Hooley up the other end. They kicked the last two. Aish, silky skills, synonymous with that name. Well done, Cochin. Desperate there, Beams. Paddling for Paparone. Free kick, Brisbane. I think that move was from Dimmer as well to put Bash behind, try to slow things down. Brisbane have got a little bit of a run on here. Just trying to get a play a bit of tempo and just slow the, slow the game down. Back here, Ruth. Well, they've had the last six inside forward 50s, the Brisbane Lions, so it makes perfect back sense to line. have a, a player back. It's important in that role, and Hodgie, in 
recent times has done it better than anyone else in the competition. You've got to influence the play, don't you? You can't just sit there and clog space, either cut the ball off in the air or get involved on the way out. Well, this is really interesting, isn't it, for the last three goals of the game. And after conceding a 16-point deficit at half-time, this to put them in front. It's only a one-point ball game, but right now... Lots of questions being asked of the team in black and gold. Well, the confidence from the Brisbane Lions and Dane Zorko's conversation with Andrew Welsh at halftime has said, if we're close enough in the second half, we know we've got a great fitness base and we can take it to the Tigers in the second half. And they've certainly done that so far. So only percentage separating these two sides coming into today. Only the one point separating them right now. With 10 gone in this third term, Martin... Had a lot of the football in that second term. 12 of his 18 touches to the wing. He goes Edwards quickly. Arnott over the top. Revolt couldn't quite work it. Back to the running Foley, who was hard up against the boundary line. Jackson just waits. Clever stuff to Arnott. Then he ran into Adcock. Didn't shirk the issue. So it's this moment now where... I'm sure all Richmond fans are looking to their team saying, who's going to stand up? We've been challenged by a young side, a side that has only had four wins the same as us. Who is going to put their hand up for the Richmond Footy Club? Well, the slap from Vickery to Deledio, excellent. And the long ball into the pocket, Revolt had the battle against Clark. You can see also, Tommy, the guys like Justin Clark and Gardner, they're all right now young and early in their career, filling out and becoming those bigger bodies. I mean, these games that they're getting close as a forward and a second ruckman as well, it's so invaluable to the development of them as individuals, but also the team. Well, McStay couldn't quite. And Vickery, well, he could. You can't do that without having a bit of talent. And somehow he found a way. He's having some sort of an afternoon, Hodgie. This man has done everything you said he might be able to do. He wants you here every week. I already had a chat to him during the week. Well, the I'm Victory family have sent through, through it. They've sent through a fax and email and just a, a vote of thanks to you, Hodgie. <laughs> Extraordinary what he's been able to do this afternoon. He's been in and out of this side and he had a heap of pressure being applied. He had to work through a series of lines quickly onto the boot. Another goal. His fourth. Four straight for Victory. But that's the thing, he's a top, he's, I think he's a, a first-round draft pick, and that's why they picked him up. He can take a big contested mark, but he can do things like this. Second, third efforts, he's an agile person, it's a great goal. And now in the ruck, second bag of four for the season for Ty Vickery. He did it earlier in the year against Carlton, and he's never kicked five. So he's on world record pace, PB at least, anyway. It was Taylor's long ball in, under pressure the Tigers... At every turn at the moment, Rance's handball forward for Martin. So Hanley right there on the hammer. He played that well, Martin. Now he cuts back boundary side. Clever use of the left. It's a nice little fist over the top by Gardner. Good tackle by Harwood just to tie things up and keep the ball in their half of the ground. He's good Gardner, isn't he? He's a, as you mentioned, Hamish, earlier in the call, he's played defence all his life. And as his career progresses, he'll back himself in and mark those balls. He's a, he looks a likely tie. Hanley, the spiral from Jackson. Just that looked good off the boot, didn't that? A bit of old-fashioned footy. Justin Clark behind the football. And now 50. Nice to see. Hodgie, you're not averse to every now and then letting go with a spiral. Uh, yeah, I guess it's good if you're under pressure. The, uh, the more distance you get to get it out the, uh, the back of the forwards. Um, that, that's a frustrating thing about that 50. That happens 15 times a game. And, and unfortunately, they pluck one every now and then. So Clark's long ball down towards and beyond the 50. Rance again read it well. Tackled by Merritt. Holding the man, Richmond. He didn't ball have it. Ball came out, ball came out, you took him to ground. Just hasn't been able to really exert any influence other than providing a contest, Daniel Merritt. Are you going to be OK to take your kick or not? No. All right. So I tackled him, he's lost it. And then, so... Smart by Nathan Foley there, take jumping it across, trying to get that extra kick. Just bring the mark this way, please. Daniel just wanted a bit of further explanation and got it, hey? That was a very civil conversation, wasn't it? I liked it. Two gentlemen at work. Some players, Hodgie, just respect the umpires and talk in civil tones. <laughs> uh, respect for all, mate. Respect for all. <laughs> Ellis 
beautiful to Jackson. He can continue on and he chooses to do so and then just splits the lines, gives it off to Edwards. Well, the kick's going to favour out the back. Pedard, can he manufacture a little handball to Lidio? Just overzealous there, Pat Full. Dirty on himself. He slipped at the crucial moment. And... It was a really tough one, wasn't it, Tommy? Yeah. Had to be hard at the contest. Yeah, that's, that, that come apart because of uh, the fumble, though. Yep. Yeah. You hear the up talking to the players there. Yeah. They're coming. But that, they're... He's just, he's just assuming he's going to uh, pick up the ball, go and attack. He fumbles, it turns into him. Can't do much about it as he goes and snaps a nice goal. Well done, Ricky Bobby. He gets one his first of the afternoon. He played forward a lot for the Demons. And there were sort of murmurings at one point. He may go and be a part of the Giants. And then his form eluded him a little. He's got a second lifeline here at the Tigers. He's been in and out. But seemingly, the defensive 50 where he's going to be settled but he's forward of the ball today and Tommy nice finish he's an interesting player and brave as the day has long had that horrific injury early days in Melbourne and finding a home at Park Road Rants back on there looked like he may have had a caught calf or something like that from the previous collision with Daniel Merritt but important for the Tigers they're out there little buffer here so 16 points at half time back to 13 points in favor of the tigers the first two of the half from the lions and richmond have responded with the next two and a high kick from martin towards the wing can go this one well done miles he did that brilliantly reefed it back towards cochin who got a kick out of well nowhere really hanley called to go such a composed customer with the football in his hands for one who didn't grow up with a football in his hands Conker breaks away from the tackle. They keep coming, the Tigers. Revolt in the pocket. Padful right there with him. It was momentarily into Padful's hands. He went back, gets the footy again, close to the line. Nicely done. Leicester across to Gardner, the clearing kick, and bounces out. Chaplin, the big man, he's been terrific for the Tigers. Inspired free agency pickup after nine years with the power. He's settled well and truly into the back six for the Tigers. Adds a bit of experience and maturity and leadership. Has plateaued a bit this year, I think. Yep. My zone admission, he'd say that. A number of the Tigers who probably haven't taken that very next step. I mean, he's been a terrific player for a long time. Well, Buick at full stretch, couldn't control it. Foley amongst the mayhem. Puts it in good hands. Uh, another example there, Hodgie, of that kick you were talking about. Yeah, they've they built the ball up oh, nicely man. here. Oh. Uh, they've got to get it in along this. Uh, they're 2v2 inside the 450 with uh, Rewalt Victory getting into it. Pedard in the last of the sunshine on the outer side. Maguire had it come off hands into his lap. Over the top to Harwood. He's got to be quick here. Cool head, works it back. Beams and Hanley. So now they gain some territory, but will they lose possession doing so? Out of sight, McStay to Gardner. Adcock waits. Well, Gardner had time to recover. McStay now to Adcock. The runner comes at him through hands, it goes. Free kick. Isn't that good play, by Maze? Well, Rockliffe, can he finish off? Over the top he goes. Oh, Merritt, he's a big presence, but he's not always a beautiful finisher. It's Rockliffe's first touch since the two-minute mark of this third quarter where he had four possessions. James Aish is really, he hasn't had a huge day himself, just the eight possessions, but got the ball deep in defence and had the awareness not to blaze away and switch the ball across. And Piers Hanley able to get the ball out on the fat side, and this is the end result. Some of the young lines showing great composure for inexperienced players. So Merritt's had the one touch so far for the afternoon. Well, he's hit that sweetly. It never looked like doing... Well, can you say that? When he's gone through for a behind? I was looking It went dead straight. The binoculars. <laughs> it went dead and the straight. The binoculars let me down. On the monitor, it never looked like going through. One minus score. Well, Brisbane may have felt the game was starting to slip away, so they've brought a bit of experience on now. They've activated their sub with McGrath. Good on you, Welshie. Welshie down there on the boundary line. Good mark Play on. by Harwood. 
Adcock in the middle of the ground and he squares one up. That's a good kick for Gardner, who has been impressive. Back to Adcock. Now Hanley. Good finish of the Irishman. Decides not to finish. Goes short to Merritt. Maybe on the wrong side. And Chaplin bursting out of defence does nicely. Handball backwards to Martin. Penner, they hold for just a moment. Not a lot to kick to upfield, and Martin's kick is a good one. And Delidio, a bit of experience there. They work that nicely. What about Hanley then, Tom? Yeah, just took the uh, the short option there. He was on his the wrong side for a right footer to have a ping, but one that got away for the lines. Martin with a head fake to D, and now Grimes and... Suddenly, it's the Tigers pushing up, looking for an 18-point lead. Vickery, he's been in everything, almost. The body contact was there. Recovery excellent against Harwood. He's given the ball away to Cochin, playing a good game. Miles back to Cochin. Newman, Ellis, Cochin again. He stands on the point of the square. The kick just didn't have enough on at the mark. Chopped off cleverly for the Lions by Harwood. Well, bit of a battle here now. It's Patful. Desperate stuff. Buick, McGrath. They work it through. McStay into Hanley again. To the outer side we go. Taylor with that dash. He'll back himself. He's a bold little player. Just gets held up. Continues to work around and think things through. A kick terrific to Green. Green called to play on. Went off his mark. Now it goes downtown to Close. Who's just outside of his range, it's suspect. Runs to about 55. Decides to put it to the hot spot. Beams a sit. Not quite... McGrath watches the old skipper. The former a skipper just knock it through. As McGrath, the uh, substitute player on for the Lions, James H. Putting on the vest. Really important the Tigers don't get outworked by a young side here at these early stages, so the late stages of this quarter. Brisbane starting to get a bit of uncontested ball out on the open side of the ground, which will need to tidy that up. Crowd telling Jackson to kick long. Conker was on. That was really well done by a young man who continues to impress. Darcy Gardner game number 10. There's a big fist over the line. Martin sitting down incidentally. There's the red vest. Martin sitting down after 10 disposals so far in this term. He had 12 in the second. Put on Rockcliffe. Maguire and Leicester trying to find a way through. That was a very good tackle by Arnott. Ball jarred loose. Edwards now tackled by Zork by Rockcliffe. I actually thought the, uh, the Brisbane defences, of young defence, have uh, been pretty good this quarter. Brisbane had a lot of ball going in there, and I thought they've won a few crucial battles. It was Taylor with that tackle. Here is the sub on the ground. Beams handball forward for Mark. So they're not done yet. They're coming hard, Brisbane. For a couple of smarter decisions when bringing the ball forward, they could either be level or, in fact, in front of. Yeah, they've used the ball on occasions, not so well going inside 450. One of the issues for Richmond is when you're looking at just the sheer numbers, Martin Koch and Ellis and Miles have got plenty of the ball, but they're the players that always do for Richmond. They need some support from the periphery. Um, too much left up to too few for Richmond at the minute. Just keeping an eye on Zorko, been really dangerous for the Lions up forward. Has come off in the hands with the doctor. Looks to be like a lower right leg injury. Just smashed his boots on the ground, so he's not happy. I'll keep you posted. Well, Aish was just substituted out of the game. So the timing not terrific. Ellis accumulated a lot of the football again today. The searching kick out the back. Ricky Bobby not quite. Can he get the second ball? No, Hanley. Mops up, tidies up, loops the ball over the top to Harwood. He brings it inside. Gardner didn't connect as he would have liked. Hanley has left it behind. Edwards, desperate stuff on hands and knees. Great defensive effort by the Brisbane skipper, Jed Adcock, before to deny Pedard the mark inside forward 50. Welchie. Yeah, the Tigers have followed on from Brisbane's lead a few moments ago. They've activated their sub, and O'Hanlon is about to come on for the Tigers. Now, Cochin. From right on his range, off a couple of steps. It's a long ball, but not quite the distance, and perhaps the accuracy was always an issue coming onto his right boot like that. Koch had to lower his vision then. Tyrone Vickery had perfect space, just a nice little hit-up lead to their full forward. Luke Hodge on Vickery watch. So Hanley then kicks to himself. And that's a strong mark by Merritt, who's... Found it hard to get the arms free today. Just his fourth disposal coming up. It was a good grab. Now, he's got to play a loose. 
was a short option. He goes longer instead down the line. And Mays pushing hard with Rance. Mays recovery, excellent. Handball to close, not so good, though Conker was too close. Up it will come. Great news for the Brisbane Lions. Zorko is OK. He's pushed the doctors away and said, I'm right to go. And that's great for Brisbane because he's been fantastic up forward. Also with Green and Taylor. They look really dangerous at the moment. Just on the top of the screen, we saw him go down. Looked like a bit of an ankle. Watch it here. So Cochin involved a couple of times there. Worked out really nicely with Marich, but the kick not good. Beams. This one just didn't have enough on it to get to Mays. And Rance... As we've said so many times, his reading of the play now, an outstanding feature of his game. Right place, right time, he dropped into the hole and marked. Might just have a look at the Zorko piece in a moment as Cochin works to the outer side. The free man is Marich, who's got a bit of space. It's all green lights ahead for Marich. Takes a bounce, might consider a second. Now he just goes in short. Well, Foley, he's going to go short too. Revolt was the target. Clark was right on his hip. Building them behind him, didn't we? They wanted him to take it on. That's what Zorko there, just number 15 on the screen. Grabbing at his right ankle, came under, buckled under him. Got the treatment required back out on the field, which is good news for the Lions. Conker, well, Hanley's got to be quick. Did he get a hand onto it? Did he get the second time? I don't know whether he got it at all. Well, this is a very Irish play. If he's missed it twice, he'll be really disappointed with himself. I and mean, that's a conclusive umpire's decision. There's also the first piece. He had an opportunity to touch it the first time, I'm thinking. He missed it. That's a goal, isn't it? Goal. Clear goal. Umpire's call is a goal. Hard to say that's conclusive, Hodgie. There's no fingertips out, are there? You've got, you've got to see the fingers bend back at least. Because you've completed Umpire's call. All clear, goal. A huge goal in the context of this game now. Out to a three goal margin, 18 points to the Tigers. At it in a moment, but Pierce Handley love that time again. And serious Brisbane, haven't they? They just haven't yeah. been able to score on the board. Now they should be closer. Well, there's been a lot of talk about the review, but today it's been uh, put up twice, and the third one, the umpire made a great call anyway, but uh, look, every decision so far has been correct, so look, that was they couldn't change a call of what they've seen there. They've been on the wrong end, a couple of close calls. Brisbane, bad luck. The umpire's down as well, back up to his feet now. That was Robert Finlay, and the ball now towards half forward. It was a tough bouncing ball for Taylor, through hard grimes, and taken high. Biggest lead of the match right now to Richmond. They led by 17, 13 minutes in the first term after the Edwards goal. That conquer goal gets them out by three. Brisbane have always been within touch. They work it through the middle of the ground now. Chance perhaps for Revolt. Right spot off hands. Adcock, as he so often does. Right spot, right time. Short ball, Martin. Tried his heart out, Martin. 17 make it 18 disposals now. Had a big game, the big man and Clark short. Matty McGuire's worked here hard down the wing, make it an option. Paparone's kick was not great. He just had to wait for it a little while. McGuire goes again. That's a tough contest. Vickery coming hard the other way. Well done, Edwards. He sees the loose ball and his short kick is good to O'Hanlon. A bit going on behind the play, as there was last night. One player over the other and a free kick going Richmond's way back where the ball is live. Just wheel and go here, Richmond. Just get it in, put the defenders, the young Brisbane defence under pressure. Less than a minute on the clock. So Jackson sends it in long, revolt at the back of the pack. He had a big run at it and the ball just died a little. He didn't get a chance to get that big leap into action. Needed to go more central than that kick there. That's probably the best result there for the Brisbane defenders. Just get on the move here, just get really busy, Richmond. 
So it's Richmond by three goals. Another one will make it very, very difficult indeed for the Brisbane Lions in the last term. O'Hanlon, handball back inside. Interesting one there from Foley, bottom of the pack, and then the clearing kick. Well, it was really nicely done by Rockcliffe. He sends it long, and a good fist by Merritt over the line. Tom, you're spot on there. It's happened too much today, both teams. They've been going either the pocket or short little kicks inside, just going over the 50-metre line. You put it at the top of the goal square, put the uh, opposition defence under a bit of pressure. It looks like they've both been nervous, haven't they? They've taken safe options. When Obviously, if you turn the ball over in the middle of your forward 50, you can go down the other end pretty quickly, but you've got to take risk in this game. That's exactly what uh, Brisbane did last week and it worked for them. They've got to continue to do that. Just looking at Maguire and Vickery after they'd been wrestling in front of us. They both had their hands on their heads exhausted for about 30 seconds after the wrestling duel. Edwards, almost. Well, somehow, Revolt's got boot to ball, put it to a very dangerous spot. They haven't called the play on call. I think it's miles underneath it all. Or is it Conquer? It's Conquer it is. The ball was terrific from Revolt, but... The umpire's call from the far side, the boundary wasn't heard. So at three-quarter time, the margin for the Tigers has gone from 16 at half-time to 18 at the final change. The last 30 minutes, not far away. And it was completely beyond... Another goal to Richmond, and it was completely beyond Brisbane. But 18 points, as it stands, with what we've seen, they're not completely out of it, the Lions. No, it's a, it's a, it's a comfortable margin for the Tigers, and, and they'll, they'll feel good about themselves there. What Brisbane need to do is do exactly what they did in the mid part of that quarter, but just be a little bit cleaner in their forward 50, kick the goals, hit the targets, and they're right back in it. They certainly need the opening goal, and Zorko giving them every opportunity to do that. A long ball inside 50 towards close. Well played by Chaplin. He got the footy. Taylor. Gives it back to Buick, who's had a quietish afternoon. The boy from West Perth, good kick, though, down towards Merritt. Didn't quite get there. Interesting there, Cochin and Green, both intent on winning the football. Newman mopping up and a bouncing ball back towards the wing. Pedard just slipped under the football. That was nicely done. Clark across to Rockcliffe. And a very good mark taken again by Taylor. Just accumulates Tom Rockcliffe. He's having an outstanding season. He polled a lot of Brownlow votes late last year. Up to 25 disposals, 14 contested, 9 tackles, 7 clearances. They're the sort of numbers that catch the umpire's eye. Rockcliffe up to 27 disposals. Now he leads all on the Brisbane list. And here's this man, McGrath. He's become the super sub. And, well, a chance to get that first goal. Again, they're, again, they're playing very much through the, the boundary side of the ground. Just watch this contest here. No, that's OK. He's kicked only one behind for the season. It'll be a good time to get his opening goal, but it just drifts across the face. Tommy, to your point in regard to Tom Rockliffe, you talk about the big end of last year. From round 16 on, these were his Brownlow votes. 3-3-2-3-2. Three, three, two, three, two. In a winning game, not a vote. 3-3. Three, three. 19 of a possible 24 in the last eight. He's, he's become one of the best midfielders in the competition. Be interesting to see how he goes in the All-Australian side this year because... Although Brisbane haven't won a lot of games, he's been an unbelievable contributor. Well, the first goal on the last, so important, and McGrath has that opportunity to deliver it now. We know he can kick a long goal, Ash McGrath. He's had a lot of time out of the team this year with leg injuries. This will be just on his measure, I think. I think a lot of Geelong supporters remember him kicking uh, this distance uh, <laughs> and a very important In game 200. <laughs> amazing, amazing goal, that one. About this spot, different ground, obviously, so... McGrath, journey looks okay. How's the accuracy? Oh, Jeez, he hit it sweetly, didn't he? He's been a, uh, a great servant for the Brisbane Lions footy club over a long time now. 
the lone Lion to have played in a Premiership, still going round, still in active service. Here's a chance, Green, it ricocheted back his way, Zorko over the footy, Hawley under pressure, did well to get his kick away. It was in all sorts there and not only get it away, but got it to Cochin in the end, partly by luck, partly by fortune, well played in the end, Richmond, because they were under a lot of pressure. Ellis, here's McGrath, Rockcliffe again. You just give this one over the top. It was OK to Clark, to Buick, to Rockcliffe. They keep it alive. They're coming, Brisbane. But again, it's just the finishing. Hanley for Adcock. Now he can take them on here through the middle. Hanley just held up a little by the handball. It was a touch behind him. Sends it long now. Merritt at the back. Merritt got there. Well done, Rance. Recovery excellent. Handball, not sure that D wanted. And the clearing kick to Hanley, not a good one. Well, here we go. A chance for the Lions, perhaps. Well, not when Rance is in the right spot. He's with close, read it perfectly. His first three strides, terrific. Just a bit panicky, aren't they? When, when it comes down to the crucial plays, just that little bit of composure lacking. A floating, ugly sort of a ball. Brisbane have come to play in this last quarter. The amount of forward pressure they've put on them. Richmond have been kicking the ball back out, but Brisbane have had the first six inside 50 entries just because of the pressure they've had on them. They feel like they want a goal, don't they, Hayne? Just one to validate that work, and they'll have a sniff if they can get the opening goal of this final term. Martin to space. Leicester doing battle with Cochin. Oh, beams. Terrific stuff. Leicester. Back inside. Padville. Well, he thought about Martin. Only momentarily pulled the handball. Hanley, he goes to Martin now. The runner is Maguire. He's ignored over the top green. A couple of Tigers to beat. Green, beaten by Ellis and D. They combine well. And again, it's Rance doing the running. And again, that's sort of an ugly ball. The bounce pitches and pulls up quickly. It favours Clark in the end. He can use Maguire. Next goal must go the way of the Lions, you think, if they're going to come from behind. And another upset. Hewitt threads it through, bounce suits Taylor. He runs to 55, short ball pushed. Back here, watch him, watch him on the ground. Oh, just Alex, a little bit here. of... Alex, give it to him, Alex. That's it there. Luke's spot on, though. they've taken the game on at the start of this quarter. Just, it's just the polish, I mean, it's hurt both sides all day. Need to get a result out of this inside 50. Stick away from the boundary side. So the man that hasn't missed a game this year, the youngster, Merritt, not quite. They've got to be good here, the Tigers, a chance for Green. Merritt, hands and knees, marriage terrific. Little under Miles, handball clever to conquer. And now who gets there first? Pat Bull, floating ball, good stuff, read it well. Loose men, three of them, they're all queuing up for the Lions. Now to Hanley, we know he's got a prodigious long kick. This time it's offline, no score. Dominating possession here at the moment, Chris. No one going within QE of Pierce Handley. He's up to 31 disposals. Look at that inside 50 chart there on the right of the screen. And the first two inside 50s are nice and composed, hit McGar up. Apart from that, they've just blazed away. A bit like North Melbourne at the start of the game last night, Hodgie. They had a lot of the footy and eventually they made it count in that opening turn. But to Brisbane, all of those inside 50s and nothing really to show for it. Just a couple of behinds and one that failed to even register a score. Now Maguire, he was on the ground, allowed Marich to cruise by and pick up the footy. Well done, Clark. His handball back inside for Maguire, who's followed up. Pettard, good tackle. Needs to be seen to be making an effort. He let the football go. Now, did he bring that back in? He's very lucky. The umpire was on the reverse side there. I think if we have a look at the replay... Gardner it was. I reckon he did bring it back in, which means we just watch here. The ball comes out. Maguire. Gardner. If you, if you choose to bring it back in, you waive your rights to prior opportunity. Edwards Vickery. He's been the player of the game. Over to Revolt. All that work at the other end. And the Tigers get it done at the other. That's deflating. Really deflating for the Brisbane Lions. Their, their effort has been there since three-quarter time and even over the game you're looking at it, six goals 12 and that doesn't take into consideration some of the balls that haven't even resulted in a score but you always got the sense that if Richmond could just counter punch as they did on that occasion and hit the board now out to a 22 point lead it's going to take a big effort from the Lions not pretty 
it's been good for the Tigers. Clean hands there from yeah. Vickery, wasn't it? And Revolt third currently. The Coleman medal chasing his third, I think. So with all of that possession for the Lions and all the inside 50 entries, a demoralising goal from Revolt. His second, the margin 22. The task suddenly just that little bit greater for the Lions, who are showing some real enthusiasm and promise early in this last. Just the first inside 50 there as well for the Tigers for one goal. Brisbane obviously have gone inside the nine times with just two behind. So a lot more effective for the Tigers at this stage when they do get the chance inside 50. So again, the Tigers, second inside 50 entry. Again, the target as he's been for so long, Jack Revolt. And that's a difference. When Richmond have gone inside, only the two times there's been one-on-one -on -one contest where Victory got the handball over to Rewald. Look up the other end. Brisbane had 14 or 15 of their own players in the 450 just crowding the space. Just on Jack Rewald, we saw the target then. It doesn't trickle out, it does now with Source taking it over. 78 in 2010 in his best and fairest in all Australian years. 62 in 2011, 65 in 12, 58 last year. How do you see him playing Hodgie, Jack Revolt? He's still the target, but he's been criticised by some as playing too deep, not being strong enough, not attacking enough. As you take a strong contest out forward, but I think Dimmer's okay, been trying to share the load. If you uh, go through... Uh, if, if you go through uh, one forward too much, teams get to drop off in front of him, so they try to spread the load a little bit, get victory into the game and a few other forwards. Clark's a promising play. See, that's a good effort to mark. Yeah, the key defenders have been really impressive. It's the first time I've seen them up close. Since they've got on a bit of a winning streak here, the Brisbane Lions, and uh, they've got some players there, Clark and McStay and Darcy Gardner. Plenty of players to build a strong defence around for the next 10 years. Yeah, build a future around, that's for sure. So Harwood, game 50, gave away a goal in the opening term. They must get the next goal, the Brisbane Lions who's tried really hard. It's been an interesting battle of the rucks today. Martin and Marich in a good contest. And here's Rockcliffe with disposal number 30 from the wing. That was a clever kick into the space for Taylor. Just didn't get there in Vickery at the other end. Well, a chance to really make them pay. Batchelor gets it over the top. Conquer it was that fired it out his way. Now they've conceded some ground through marriage. Oh, well done, young man. Taylor keeps going, takes them on. Then just got caught at the end. Handball back to Marrick. Still on here, Louis Taylor. Merritt now the little layoff. Paparone's kick, he was on. And marriage swoops. His handball through the traffic for Edwards. Chaplin. Well done, Jackson. Composed there, back to Edwards, threads it through. Pedard's done nicely, and the clearing kick a high ball out from Jackson. Well, the Lions should be able to rebound and counter attack here. McStay decides to switch the ball laterally. He goes, it was a dangerous kick and ugly stuff in the end, but recovered well. Clark McGuire, he too goes wide. If there was ever a week that Damien Hardy Harvick would want Stevie Morris in their team. It's this week and it's this quarter. He, that's where Brisbane are going to win it, is their lively forwards. We're seeing Taylor Zorko get on the end of the ball. Someone like Stevie Morris there, the type of players he picks up, so they're missing him at the moment. Ah. Ah, very good call, well, Welsh, no doubt about that. It's their best avenue to go. The Lions, those three musketeers. That's it, Ivan! Buick, you feel, is right on his range. It's a pat full. That's it, Dustin. Right there. Just look at the mass numbers of the Tigers back in their defensive 50. So not a hell of a lot of space here. So six Tigers outside the arc, the rest inside it. Remarkable game from Brad Nellis. He has had 29 disposals, all of them uncontested. Searching ball, Vickery. Four goals to Vickery. And Tom, we speak about Brandon Ellis. Dustin Martin's had a really has had a breakout year. He's another shining light for Richmond. He's since round six, he's the top ten possession getter 
in the competition, which is amazing. So although as a team they haven't um, overly achieved so much this uh, Richmond side, he is another shining light, been fantastic with Dustin Martin. So Paparone has it fired his direction, Rance. Desperate again, just body work against Merritt Terrific, just held him off and then lurched back. Hooley on the end of it all. Revolt, the one-on-one -on -one play, this time Clark to beat. And he might get a, just a kind bounce, he does. No one inside 50. Cool head, retreats, goes back. Cotchin still got one wide. The Delidio's that man, Clark. Little one to Pedard, back it goes, wanted Cotchin. In the end, the Lions get a favourable bounce and McStay. Working over the top, Paparone two to Maguire. He's got to be quick, Grimes got him high. That was smart there by Jack Rewald. Uh, didn't blaze away, tried to compose, use his teammates around him. Sign of his maturity. Really good mark by Mays there. It was a tough crossing ball. He had to stand under it a long time. Here's Hanley. Short ball. Tough one for Buick. Took it on the bounce. Jackson took him straight away. Needs to be making an attempt. Umpire's got a good view of it. And the upper ball comes. So 22 points, Tom. Less than 10 minutes to play. They've been really gallant, the Lions. Well, it's four goals, Baz, and they've only kicked six of the day, so yeah. unlikely at this stage. When I mean, they've had their opportunities, oh, just haven't been able to capitalise, have they? Straight up! Tom, you've mentioned it a few times. Polak, Carnesis, Longer, Thanks, Yo, Doherty, all under 21, all heading home to their states of preference. And then Rich Lewenberger, Stake of Polkinghorn West, all watching on Redden after 112 consecutive games from debut misses for the first time there's a lot of quality that's disappeared and a lot watching on and these youngsters are starting to develop Leicester's high ball under it Merritt good handball to Green ran into trouble taken high we can't measure resilience uh, Hamish and these young players have had to put up with a lot, a lot in their young careers you'd love to see them get some reward for their perseverance McGrath's kick not a good one I reckon that's a contested possession. Tom, if he ends up with it in his hands, well, he didn't, but well played by Ellis. Like a basketballer guarding the point guard. That was brilliantly done. That didn't work out for Brisbane, then, but that's what they need to do. They need to switch the ball, open the play up, try and get some easy uh, inside 50 entries for a few shots on goal. It's been, uh, it's been tough going for them so far this quarter. Just one touch for Dustin Martin in this turn, so they've kept him quiet kept themselves in the game as a result. Close to Mays to Rockcliffe, Buick, now Hanley. The number one's close together. Handball up in the end, not sure it was the right idea for Beams. He got a handball away, Buick comes again. Now he's a good finisher. Buick throws it on the left to give the game some life. He does it. 16 points, eight minutes to go, plenty of time. I mean, it is, it's pretty labour-intensive for the Lions at the moment, but Hodgie hit the nail on the head. If they just continually move the ball off the line, put a bit of unpredictability in their game, they don't have the key forward to really kick to other than Source Merritt, who's got Rance as an absolute glove wearing him. They can find another avenue to go through the runners. With that then, they made it a, a bit harder than what they needed to. It was a nice left foot uh, shot there, but opened their game up. Pierce Hanley took it on, um, maybe almost turned it over, but it was entertaining, got a clean inside 50 and, uh, and a nice finish. 38 minutes between the Zorko and Buick goals. 16 points the margin now. 19 scoring shots to the Lions, 15 to the Tigers. Tigers lead it by 16, but it's not enough if you're a Tiger fan. D, desperate second effort. Zorko did well, held him up. The ball was brought in. I don't think the umpire... Yes, he did. He saw it. Richmond. No, that was there, no doubt about it. I thought the umpire might have missed it by being on the corridor side. But dived on the ball, brought it back in. No intent to get the ball out, holding the ball. Who can win the ball in the air? McStay watches on close. Grimes is the answer. Down, Josh. Tough for Revolt. You'll get there first and somehow... Well, no, brought it, brought, it. brought it in. Juggled it over in the end. So, interesting moment in this match. Still time. Seven minutes and change. Three goals needed for the Lions who have manufactured just seven for the afternoon. Marich. To space D, Hooley, Martin. A 
series of one-on-ones. The players, they come together. Ellis, the big fly. Edwards had it, lost it. McGrath. He's holding the ball, just dropped yeah. it. Very tough, very quick, very swift decision from Lee Fisher. It's your kick shot. Straight to him. Clear out, Bates. Clear out. Brandon, take him out. Take him out. That's your line, Shane. Come on, back on. Right on it there. So Edwards has been going at a goal a game. 15 games this year, 15 goals. This to make it two for the afternoon. He struck it well. He struck it beautifully. If you're a Richmond fan, that is pretty to see. Looks like there's a little breeze and the ball bobbled around a bit, but when the moment came, he was up to the task. Shane Edwards gets his second for the afternoon. The margin, three and a half goals down, and maybe you think just a little too much for the plucky Lions. Yeah, great contest there by Brandon Ellis. We see the follow-up effort. Terrific tackle. Really denied Ash McGrath any opportunity to dispose of the ball correctly. Good decision. Good finish. Well played, Richmond. Yeah, if it seemed a hard call when the whistle went on replay, clearly the right decision. Well done by umpire Fisher. Having a good game. Ball inside 50, and now to rub a little bit of salt into the wounds. Petter quickly down to Ellis, and that was a good mark. He had players coming at him from all angles. You could just see there, Alice was uh, was ready for the ball to come in. Whoever reacts quicker obviously gets the ball, and Alice was, uh, his first two or three metres are pretty quick, but he was the first one to read the, the shorter kick. Just reinforcing the value of a centre clearance. Haven't really been too many really clear centre breaks for either side, but uh, this will put some nice icing on Ellis's game this afternoon. Had a good game, 30 disposals. This will be 31. That wasn't a great effort. Surely you kicked the ground. <laughs> I think he must have played his teeth. Find the bar. And Adcock, top of the goal square, thought, hang on, I'm going to mark this. Thought about dancing off himself. Thought better of it. Held up. Goes long, out of sight. Well done, Pedard. Hold, Joel. Stay there. Seen him drift back with the flight of the ball a couple of times. Once deep in defence, and that time trying to build the wall. Revolt up high. Could mark. Marich and Martin, the two M's. Padful, trying to force his way through. Uh, did that OK then, but it ends up with Conker. Chaplin, well done to Lidio. Marich gets it back, can keep going here. Miles gave it back to him. Oh, this would be some sort of goal. It was touched off the boot. High bouncing ball now. Tough one. Edwards runs in. Good finish a moment ago. Over the line. Coaching Hodgie when it's all done? Uh, at times, mate. <laughs> I see the pain on Damien Hardwick's face, and I wonder why you're even contemplating. I know the competitive beast within might be an itch you need to scratch, but gee whiz, he looks like a man in pain. His team leads by 22. A somewhat disappointing season. The pressure on the men in the hot seat every day of every week. But as you said, you've seen him last year and he had uh, a smile from ear to ear at certain times. So that's the thing about football, you have some ups and downs. But uh, Tiger's obviously going to be too good today. Oh, Hannah, long ball. Well, I don't know whether he was looking for rebound or looking for glory. It's a long ball, but it's offline. Oh, free's got free. Back here, Jack. Back here. Stop him from Clark, who played 14 last year, he's 15th this year. Leicester at full stretch. Very young side. Five who have debuted this year of the eight Lions playing this afternoon. Six of their 22 teenagers. They came into this game winning three of the last five, but without their spiritual leader, Jonathan Brown, they have. Less of a target inside 50. This time the target is McGrath or close. Neither can take it. Martin wanted Edwards, missed him. Second effort good. Goes to Edwards again. This time they combine. Cochin. 
Jackson. Nothing really for to the ball. He'll wait for the Tigers to either come to him or run deep. Hamble not so good. Adcock. Jackson again crashes into Adcock. Got the handle away to a Hanlon. Now to Deledio. A well weighted ball. A perfect ball. And if he's quick, we'll see Revolt. Lions get back. Option is a Hanlon. Well, he's got to be quick because the umpire caught it. He heard it late. And then the kick from Ellis. Offline. Oh, gee, pleasure to have you involved this afternoon. If you were to give the votes, who would you be dishing them out to? Oh, tough. I thought uh, I thought Pierce Hanley early was uh, was good for Brisbane. Obviously, in there getting clearances and uh, giving them a lot of run. But Martin, I think, uh, when the game was hot in the first half, uh, was uh, very good for Richmond. But I'm going to have to go to Vickery. Uh, four goals in a tight <laughs> game. Uh, might be a little bit biased. Had a bit of a focus on him pre-game. But uh, I thought he's been excellent. He uh, gave away a few goals as well, as well as same as kicking for himself. We've seen the best of me, myself, and Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> His beams got it from Green, close to the line, and well done by Rance. And that reputation continuing to build. I think that last play there has just summed up uh, Brisbane's day yeah. going inside four. They're in two minds. They don't know whether to go long, whether to hit the lead up. And uh, that holds on long enough for Rance to go and smother. They need a target, don't they? They need another key target to give Big Source Merritt some support. 23 points is the margin, and in fairness, it's a margin that Richmond deserved. They they have controlled it for most of the afternoon. It's always looked like their game to lose. Yeah, it has. It has uh, uh, Richmond have been uh, clearly, well, not clearly, they've been have been the better side today. But going back to having that tall forward, it takes a bit of pressure off your midfield as well. If you've got the ball, look up and you see a big key forward to kick it to. Um, all you have to do is just let the ball go, rather than have to try and find a precise, precise target. Oh, that was interesting from Jack. He did all the hard work and then realised how far he had to run if he wanted to keep going. So, a little backhanded paddle over the line. That's what's to come, Tom. Yeah, well, Port Adelaide, obviously, they're playing the Bombers tonight at Adelaide Oval and West Coast over there is always a tough game. And Improving Giants, I mean, when you're in Richmond's position, as they've demonstrated today, there are no easy games, but they'll take confidence out of this afternoon's performance. Yeah, I think if they could get two of those four, they'd be pretty happy. They'll improve to five and ten this afternoon. And they've shown some signs. 15 wins, as we said last year. They only had one win in five weeks, and that was against St Kilda. So they'll make it two in a row. That's a bit heartening for them. And a chance here for Martin just to roll one forward and make it 13 for the afternoon for the Tigers. He's offline with less than a minute to play now. Basher Hooley not too happy. Could have been a nice little sneaky handball to Basher run into an open goal. Nice way to ice your afternoon, isn't it? Mind you, if he had a kick, that he would have stolen the votes off Tyrone. <laughs> Cochin on 37 touches. He's got ball 38 in three previous outings. Rance, who's had such a strong month against big forwards. He's had an easier time of it this afternoon. Quick kick on goal. Skips through. Just back to Tyrone Vickery. He averages three goals, including today in the Richmond wins this year, one in their losses. It's a bit of a barometer, Hodgie. Yeah, I think that goes back to the consistency. Uh, if, if he can produce this more often, it's obviously going to be a lot easier for the Richmond forwards. Rewald, uh, his play won't be able to drop off to interfere with Rewald's uh, marking. So it's been a pretty balanced uh, forward line for him today. That was a good mark by D, wasn't it? I've got time for one more, less than 20 seconds now. Not a great kick out for Rewald. And Lester right there with him. Does it roll over? Trouble for Gardner if it didn't. I reckon that's holding the ball. Ball's pinned underneath you. Ball's pinned underneath you. He had no prior opportunity and the ball's pinned underneath you. Thank you. Ball, please. Ball, please. <laughs> Got to make it. If there's no prior opportunity, that's the first judgment call the umpire makes. Um, and if there's no prior opportunity, you don't really need to make an attempt. So We saw Jack doing a spot of commentary at half time and uh, a little bit more from the Richmond full forward there. It's going to be the Tigers afternoon. Siren just moments away. Tigers make it two in a row and seven consecutive wins over the Brisbane Lions. They get it done today by 25 points.
big raps for him pre-game.